How's it going everyone? Mao here. Welcome back to my Toram Online gameplay. So, the last episode did come up to be short. That's because after returning back to the real world, I ended up starting chapter 6, as you can see. So, I have to start from El Scaro Temp Palace. Gotta go talk to the king to start my quest. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Oh, you've really come back. I got the report from the soldier who escorted Pelulu to Lunagent Mountain, but... Hmm. Right. Pelulu reported that an unknown monster killed you and you disappeared soon after that. So I ordered the soldiers to search for you. Pelulu said that you were killed. So the soldiers were astounded to see that you were alive. By the way, where were you? You might not believe your story, but you should report the whole thing that has happened in the Dark Realm. You reported to the uh, to King Albano about the Dark Realm. Oh my, Grecia, the Goddess of Courage, saved you when you almost died, and you you've been in the Dark Realm. That's totally beyond my understanding. Hey, you're hiding something from the King and me, aren't you? You were saved by the Goddess, and. You could go to the Dark Realm, the world of the deceased. I don't think you're an ordinary human, are you? You must be a descendant of a knight that has given some special power by gods, or that you are a re reincarnation of a famous mage, aren't you? Hellalu doubts you're, you're someone with a, some special power. You couldn't help laugh. You couldn't help laughing, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you can just laugh this off. The horrible monster at the Lunagant Monster. A uh, mountain was targeting you, right? Stop playing dumb and confess. Now, now, Pelulu, come down. No matter who this adventure is, there was a battle in the Dark Realm, so... It's clear that we can't avoid fighting the black crystals that are threatening our world. The monsters that Pelulu was talking about may have something to do with the black crystals. We need to find out what they are and what they are planning to do behind the scenes in this world, including the Dark Realm. In addition to that, there's one more thing I want you to do. What is that? Yes, the Empire of Lyark Technista has been getting more active while you were not around. The weapons that appear to have been created in the Empire are posing threat not only to the towns of Pax Faction, but also to El Scaro. Well, I can guess you're gonna ask. Right, though they keep sending out various weapons, the situation in the Empire of Lyark Technista remains unknown. So I want you to investigate it as well as the situation of the Pax Faction that is being threatened by the Empire. Maybe we can cooperate with the Pax Faction. I knew this would happen when you came back. I'll go with you, so why not accept it? But I'll leave you and run away if something like that, like last time, happens again. Okay, Pelulu. I know. Alright, I'll leave it to you. You may have to face many risky situations, but remember to prioritize both, both of your lives. You got it. Investigate Pax Faction at Wander's Plain. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna have to head over to the Wander's Plain and investigate what the heck's going on over there. So, I'll see you guys then. Oh, who we have here? That oh, looks creepy. Hey, what are you? Soldiers of Lark Tignista or something? Oh! Oh, it's my friends. Ah, my magic isn't enough. Petura, Punctum. Oh, great. It's my turn. Fire! Wow, amazing! You can take care of the rest, right? Finish him! No problem. You saved our lives, thanks. But why are you in such a place? What are you saying? It's the land of the Pact, Technista. You've just come back for the first time in a while. 
Uh -huh. Apparently you guys belong to the Pax faction. I knew it. What is it, Mondan? Well, what's this? Is it human? Gollum? Demi Machina, an artificial monster made of human. Half of the body is replaced with magical organs. The brain's taken out, and it just follows programs. Their weapons made of human bodies, so the cost is cheaper than metal golems. Much hum inhumane weapons. Must be Lyark. Well, what kind of people are they? Oh! The power source seems to have exploded. It doesn't look like it was damaged. Normally, it explodes when defeated. Ah, no trace was left behind. I wanted to check the power source. By the way, you're awesome. You can control a golem. I heard that Humes can't really use magic, so I thought you were a mechanic or a repairman. <laughs> it's not my power. It's thanks to the device on the magic book. Where the heck did he just pull that out from? There is a strange plate-like uh, device on the magic book. Oh, now you notice my invention. This device automatically casts the spells written in the magic books. Fantastic, huh? Fantastic? People who don't have magic power can now cast spells? Yeah, York can't use magic at all, but look at him. Oh, even though he doesn't have magic power. Hmm? What's wrong? Ah! Uh, you hurt his feelings. What happened to him? I have no idea. You guys are sick. Oh, he left something. <laughs> oh, he dropped such an important note. I told him many times not to just place notes between the pages, but file them instead. Oh, he's using very rare paper notes. York has a thing about notes. It has to be a be this paper to take notes. Aha! Demi machinas might appear again. We should build up defense here for a while. Why not visit Inkling beyond here? It's our town. You'll see uh, lots of things you've never seen. Alright, we'll go there. Thanks for saving us. Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks again. Wheat. Level 99. Ooh, I'm getting close to level 100, guys. And I'll be, like, not even halfway to the level cap. But, you know, I'm getting there. Okay, where the heck am I supposed to go again? We start by moving to Ink In In Clang from Pol Day Ice Valley, which is next to Kalmort. Uh, what was Kalmort again? Oh, I gotta go this way. Okay, okay. The name is in blue, so that might be another town I could enter. Nice. Let's see. Donko Valley. Well, I'm gonna go make my way to, um... To Ink Clang. Or Ein Clang. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, I made my way to Ein Clang. Oh, this is like a nice town here. Town of Pax Faction, Einklang. Ah. Looks very nice. I wonder what kind of stuff is in this town. Looks much bigger than El Scaro for sure. Maybe. Beautiful town. It's beautiful, but hmm, I feel kind of uncomfortable to be here. Why is that, Pelulu? Is this a tavern? Maybe blacksmith, right? I 
can tell it's synthesis, but how can we order? A general store easily gets filled with items, so it should be easier because we don't need to arrange items. But how can we shop here? We'll need to supply lots of things, so we gotta ask someone about it. Who can we ask? <laughs> the dude sleeping on the bench? Excuse me, sir, can I ask you something? Uh, if you want to buy something, ask the golem. I'm asking because the golem isn't working at all. This is the first time I visit this town, so what? we don't know how to shop. Could you tell us? What? First time to visit here? Then you can't shop here. Just go to another place. Hey, hey, what do you mean? You need these cards to shop at the stores here, not Spinos. The cards are issued only to the people in this town, so you can't use any shops here, got it? Ah, no. Hey, wake up! How can we get those cards? Where should we go to shop using Spinos? No, he won't wake up. What's going on? You heard it, right? We can't use the stores here. Let's walk around the town and find the stores that accept Spinos, okay? All right, let's do that. Whoa, well, what are you doing? Ah, uh, thank God. Strangers, I almost dried up to die. What? Anyway, get off of me. I see, so you came to Pell, but Spina isn't used in the town. You can't sell, you can't buy, and you're almost dried up, huh? Yeah, it's been a few months since I saw people who seem to have Spina, so I got excited. I came to check the situation of the area beyond here, but there are no stores, right? We'll buy at your store, so you can- so can you please stay here for a while? What? Oh, oh yes, of course, if you could pay with Spinas. Okay, deal. Hey, now we have a store we can shop. So this is the only store available in this town. So just come stay here. You'll come when we need something. Thank you so much, I'll be waiting for you. Well, not like I use any stores for anything. Eh, let's check what he has. What's his wares? Oh, it's just a general store. I never really buy anything from the general store. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, let's see. Next part of the quest is to collect information. I just gotta talk to random people. Oh. There's some- Oh, there's exclamation points everywhere. So I can't use these shops, apparently. I wonder if I'll eventually get to use them, though. Anyways. Let's talk to the female blacksmith. Good day. Nice weather, isn't it? Me? I'm a blacksmith. Please ask me if you want to refine or upgrade weapons. What? Well, this store is running automatically, so there's nothing I need to do. Tremendous amount of information about weapons and refinement skills handed over generations to generations are all in the robot. It works well. Wow. Let's see. The Narc. Oh, I've never seen you before around here. You came to this town for the first time? Oh then, welcome to Einklang. You'll like this town. Robots can deal, uh, can deal with all the troublesome things. Though I'm a town mayor, I'm leaving most of my work at uh, to Robotry. Again, I've had it. Oops. Hello. The full automation, uh, automatic robot ran out, ran out of power. So, ran out of power. Lack of power resource has become a serious problem as the town gets mechanized. The fuel for steam engines are hard to get because of monsters and goddess beads are extremely rare, though they were used in the old days. Holy gems serve as substitute for them, but they are created only by the technology of Resisto Group. So you mean you need enormous powers, but there's not enough resource for it, right? Right. I guess this is happening not only here in Einklang, but also in the world residential areas of Technista. Oh, makes things all automatic isn't good at all. You should be thrifty enough to be called petty. The whole area of Technista? You mean Lark as well? 
I have no idea. But the faction is technology, uh, technologically advanced, so that situation might be more serious. Or they might have another new Strong's resource. What do you think? You don't have information about Lyric now, so it's impossible to tell. Somebody here, young man. Hey, the area beyond Einklang is the land of Lyar. It's dangerous. You look like a travel traveler, so you should stay away from there. The land of Lyark? Aren't they eager to invade the town? Isn't it dangerous? Nah, there's no need to worry. There's an automatic artillery defense line. Anything that tries to enter the town will be shot. I see. Then it's safe. We can go we can keep going, can't we? You think so? Hmm. Maybe you're right. Watch your step. Alright. Hmm. They're not good. They leave all works to robots. And they've got lazy. It's a problem to rely on robots too much. That's true. Where are we now? Oh, so that's the artillery defense line. Oh my gosh, what is this? Most of them are broken. Yeah, what's up with that? The automated cannons for defense are destroyed. Uh-oh. What the heck's that? Hey, are you repairing the cannons all alone? Yeah, I'm Yongold. He's Ekinus. My dad was going, uh, was doing this job recently, but he was injured by monsters. So I'm repairing them for my dad. People in the town is relying on robots and do nothing. I bet they don't know the cannons are broken. Warning! Warning! Two unidentified persons approaching. Oh! It's alright, Ekinus. They came from the town, right? They haven't unsheathed the weapons, so they are not dangerous. Withdraw warnings. Your legs. Yes, I was attacked by monsters around two years ago. I guess I can't, and I can't walk since then. Now Iconos is my legs. I, uh, Iconos can talk, but he understands that I won't uh, want to do and what I want to say. He's one of my important friends. Oh, such an idiot. I often see this kind of people. They empathize golems and treat them like real friends. You have to say it? Iconos has feelings. He's special. Hmm? Is it? Warning, warning, unidentified flying object approaching fast, 10 o'clock. Uh oh, what is this? Ah! Goodness, what's wrong? It's me, don't you remember? No target to protect. The unidentified objects have been broken. However, weapons and multiple life forms detected. Destroy mode activated. It's gonna crush him! Beat the golem down and stop it! Oh, it seems like it's a boss fight. Okay. Well... It doesn't have as much HP as it... I thought it would have. Oh shit. Well, so far it doesn't seem too bad. Okay, so this is a boss fight because I can break apart here. Oh, that's not good. 
That is not good. Okay, well that's two parts broken. I don't know how many parts it has. It's not that difficult of a fight, I guess. Probably easier than a lot of bosses around here. I wonder if he has another part somewhere. Uh, it looks like it's only two that I could find. Oh! Oh! That's not good! Alright, I got that. Wow! Okay, it wasn't too bad. Just had to avoid some red areas. Please! Please don't hurt Iconus anymore! No, completely stop it. Uh. Well. Excellent job. The golem was identifying you as a target to protect with the emblem. You became a target to destroy since the emblem came off, so we had to stop it to save you. Why? Why did you hurt my friend? We didn't hurt it, we broke it! Listen, humans have lots of defects and robots are created by humans. No wonder they sometimes harm humans with malfunctions. We were attacked by a metal that we can't understand each other. We had no other option than break it down to protect ourselves. But Iconus understands me, he has feelings, so you didn't have to. Nah, it's just imagination. Robots are made of metal and there's no heart in it. They do not have feelings. They are dolls that follow programs. You, can tr you can't trust them. You want to be a full-fledged technista, right? Then you should consider about the relationships between humans and robots with, the op with this opportunity. Sounds like Pelulu is right, but isn't it too much for Yango? You have something against golems? No, well, I couldn't help it because he was too softy for a... Technista. I picked up a golem during travel... travel long ago. It was obedient and protecting me from monsters. So it was... so I was trusting it, but... It was programmed to make me trust it. It ran away when I left my important money. Then I've learned a lesson. There's no place for feelings in dealing with robots. Robots can have feelings. It's impossible, but sometimes people want to believe so. Since Peleliu was hurt, she might have keener eyes for the relationships between humans and robots than young girls. For now, let's go back to the town. But how can we carry it? I wonder. Alright. Ooh, I actually made it to level 100. The next part of the quest is to talk to Tanark and Einklang. However, I will continue that quest in another video. Well, anyways, I do hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more Toram Online uh, gameplay, do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in the next video.